Hello! I've got another AMP video for you. This is going to be about the facial muscles. As beauty therapists, we don't need to know every single facial muscle that we have. We just need to know the basics. So I'm just going to go through the main ones that we need to know. The key thing that helped me remembering the facial muscles is learning them in a particular order. The first muscle that we learn about is the frontalis. This is the frontalis. It's the front of the forehead. That's how I used to remember it. The action that it does is it raises the eyebrows. The next muscle is temporalis. Temporalis is on your temples right here and it helps lift the mandible during chewing. Um, the mandible is this bone on your jaw here. This is your mandible and if you clench your teeth, you can actually feel your temporalis and you can feel it doing the action. So we have frontalis, temporalis and then we have corrugator. Corrugator is in between the eyebrows and it makes you frown. So when you frown, that's the muscle that you're using. There is another muscle in the textbook and I do not remember learning this muscle um, but I'm going to mention it anyway just in case your course requires you to know this one. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it but I think it's procerus. Procerus is right next to the corrugator so it is somewhere in between the eyebrows here and it pretty much does the same thing that the corrugator does, it's to do with frowning. So far we've got frontalis, temporalis, corrugator, procerus. Then we have nasalis, nasalis, nasal, it's to do with your nose. That one's really easy to remember. Next we have orbicularis oculi. Now the reason I pronounce it oculi is because it's around your eye area, oculi, eye. The action it does is it helps you close the eyelids. After that one, I always make sure that I remember orbicularis aurus. It's got a similar name, but this one is aurus, aurus, oral, it's around your mouth. And this one helps it closes the mouth and it also, when you pout, you also use the orbicularis oris. So far we've got frontalis, temporalis, corrugator, procerus, nasalis, orbicularis oculi, orbicularis oris, and then I like to remember the muscles in the cheek, which is the zygomaticus. The zygomatic muscles are always in the cheek here. They have zygomaticus major and zygomaticus minor as well. I'm assuming they do sort of the similar thing, but the zygomatic major, it helps um, raise the corners of the mouth. We also have here, we've got the levata labii superioris. <laughs> I'm sorry if I've said all of that wrong. The way I remember this is levata, it sounds similar to elevator. It elevates the corners of the mouth up. Again, it helps, um, it's to do with when you're smiling. The next one is Rosaurus, which is on the corner of your mouth. Rosaurus is one of my favorite muscles because it lifts the corner of the mouth when you smile. <laughs> that was so cheesy. You can pronounce it Rosaurus because it raises the corner of the mouth, just in case that helps you remember. So far we've got Frontalis, temporalis, corrugator, procerus, nasalis, orbicularis oculi, orbicularis aurus. Was it the zygom? Yeah, the zygomaticus major or the zygomaticus minor. Somewhere next to it, we've got the levator muscle, and then we've got rosaurus, and then we have buccinator. Buccinator is right on top of Rosaurus and this one it squeezes the cheeks together during chewing <laughs> sometimes it helps to pull the expression just to see where it is but it squeezes the cheeks together I look like a scary doll <laughs> I look like Chucky let's call this one Chucky Buccinator. It squeezes the cheeks together during chewing. So we spoke about the muscles that you use when you're smiling and the ones that lift the corner of the mouth. Now we're going to talk about the ones that um, draw the corners of the mouth down. That makes you look sad. So that one is 
there's the depressor labii which is this muscle here it pulls your lip down the depressor labii it makes you look depressed that's just how i how i remember it we also have the triangularis muscle which is a triangular muscle that draws the sides of your mouth down next we have the masseter muscle which is here masseter is used during chewing and if you again clench your teeth together you can feel it and it's working together with the temporalis and it's so weird because I can feel the temporalis first and then this comes up so it's like that is pulling that and then that is pulling the jaw I always remember masseter because one of the girls in the level 2 said that masseter was her favourite facial muscle because it's to do with chewing and she loves food so that's why masseter is her favourite if that's gone into my long term memory I'm sure it'll help you remember that as well so if you love food I'm sure masseter is your favourite muscle and then we have our mentalis. You know all those girls that take selfies and pout? They're using their mentalis. The mentalis allows the lip to pout. So those are the facial muscles that we had to learn for level 2, but we also had to learn some of the muscles here. So from your neck down all here, this is your platysma. And this one it draws the corners of the mouth down, it lowers the mandible, and it maintains the skin texture. I always found it quite easy to remember platysma, but the one I found really difficult to remember, I, I knew exactly what it was because it's got such a long name, sternocleidomastoid. If you turn to the side, you can see it. This is your sternocleidomastoid, but um, this one, it helps you rotate your head. So when you rotate your head, you can actually see that you're using that muscle. And then finally, we have to learn the trapezius, which is on your back. Um, it's a diamond-shaped muscle. This trapezius muscle is used when you lift your shoulders or when you rotate your scapula. The scapula is that, what's it called? The shoulder blade. So to summarise, we have frontalis, temporalis, corrugator, Procerus nasalis, orbicularis oculi, orbicularis aurus, zygomaticus major, or you've got the minor, levator, rhizorus, buccinator, chucky buccinator, depressor labii, triangularis, masseter, mentalis, and then we've got the platysma sternocleidomastoid and then trapezius if you do that 10 times a day you should be able to remember the muscles <laughs> class dismissed okay. i can't be a teacher to save my life no one will take me seriously don't even take myself seriously let me know what your favorite is down below and also comment down below if there are any ways that you help you remember a particular muscle because I feel like when you add a certain story to it or something it helps you remember it much better so that's it from me today my darlings good luck on your exams you're gonna smash it just keep doing this in your exam and you'll be fine I'll see you in my next AMP video bye